Good morning, you guys. Okay. It's a great morning. A great, great, great morning. Okay. Your level of accuracy is scary to somebody. Okay. Somebody may be trying to get a deeper understanding of who you are, where you came from. Meaning like they want to know your background. Someone wants to know your background. Like they want to know the background of you. Adversity. This person could be even intimidated by you in some kind of way. They could be intimidated by you. Somebody speaks nothing but pure facts. Somebody be sitting back laughing, thinking that something is funny, forgiveness in the reverse, denial in the reverse, but they can't deny whatever you're saying is the truth. They be laughing because it's true, but then they be still wondering how the hell you know something. You're a high priestess, whoever you are, you know things without knowing things. It's like, um, I know what I am here to do. Somebody wants to know a little bit more about you, but they only want to know more about you so that they can stop you from revealing something. They're not going to be successful with this, though. Something is wet. Something is molded. I'm, I'm getting molded clothes or like um, a leak or something. Like somebody may need to call maintenance or something like that. I'm saying somebody having to have their house like dried out or something. This could be a, a leak from the roof or something. Yeah, service. Somebody needs to call maintenance. It's some kind of leak I'm seeing. Imagination reverse. So whoever the hell this person is, they're in some hot water too. Like this person is in trouble. They were doubting something, but they're not denying it. They're only in doubt because they're telling themselves lies is what I'm hearing. Or this could be you lying to yourself, but there's a decision that needs to be made. Somebody is being disciplined, judged. What's behind that? Grief, goodness, child, the hell is this? Somebody is, they know that you're speaking fast, just period, okay? You were chosen to do a certain thing, maybe to uh, do tarot, to deliver messages, something like that. You're a messenger. It doesn't matter how you're relaying the messages, you're relaying them. I feel like wherever you are, you put the most I got before everything. So when you start something, it's going to be prosperous because you're doing it within the most I got and you're doing it from the depth of your soul from what you love to do you're doing whatever it is you love to do so something that you love to do is bringing out the truth and somebody is trying to stop you from doing what you love to do it's a, a lot of adversity here that you have been facing but you're being set free from it and somebody else is being found guilty of it they're being found guilty of what the truth is that's one thing people love to run away from is the damn truth especially when they're in the wrong what's here you got so many people that are in the fucking wrong and they're trying to make it seem like you're wrong for speaking the truth. I don't feel like you personally know somebody. I don't feel like you personally know these people. You're not inside of their house or anything. You're just a high priestess or a high priest and you just know facts. Somebody is very jealous of the fact that you do have this gift, solar plexus chakra. They're very jealous. Like a lot of y'all, bro, these people be trying to block y'all and shit from posting and shit like that. They don't want you using your gifts simply because you're telling the truth. And the person that they are fucking over, 333, it's a chance that they could find out from you or something. And you are also a major influence. So not only are you speaking truth, you have a following as well. Transformation and harmony. Something is about to change the dynamic of somebody's relationship solely because they're fucking lying or stealing or something. I don't feel like you just set out to make somebody's life hard or something like that. I don't feel like you're doing that. I feel like you just have knowledge and you're using your gifts to, you know, um, regenerate and you're being recognized and rewarded for this. Now, as many people as there are that is trying to block you, you have a whole lot of people that love you and they want you to keep going too. You dig a real skew? Like these people need you to keep speaking truth. People love, some people love when you speak that shit true, raw, the way that you're doing it. And some people just don't. It's because they're the ones that's in the energy that you're reading. They're the ones that are opposing to your collective. A lot of these people don't even be a part of your collective. They be fucking karmics and shit. And they be trying to get information. They be trying to see what's next for them. Because these hoes and niggas have no prophetic gifts. They don't get dreams or anything like that. It's like somebody is trying to use the truth to uh, destroy you, but it's the truth about them. This is not your truth that you're revealing. These people are being 
awaken to who they truly are, which are monsters. Somebody is very monstrous in this energy here. I'm trying to figure out why they trying to fuck your shit up. They trying to have you ruined. They're in the shadows doing something. They're in their shadow self too. They trying to have you ruined, trying to have something fall all the way down for you simply because they're a liar. These are bitches that be trying to kill these men for their fucking money. These are bitches that try to marry men for their money. These are men that try to kill people and marry people for money, period. I feel like you um, shedding light on the snakes in people's lives, making them think twice about the things that they have been doing. Spiritual strength. You're helping people awaken. Your vibration is too high. That's just what I feel. I feel like you have a very high vibration and you don't work with nobody. You rock alone. You're solo whoever you is, so you definitely could be a content creator, light and awareness. I can't make this shit up if I try to. January 19th is significant. I don't feel like your goal is to ruin anybody's household or anything like that. I feel like you're just simply providing your gifts and people are benefiting from them. You did a risk you. That's how I feel. And it's the truth. The truth is you're not really bothering nobody. You're only bothering the people that actually are on this shit. I don't feel like you just get on your platform to just go seeking to destroy people. I don't feel like you do that. You got somebody out here that is very afraid of what you know. And they feel like, well, shit, if they know that, what else could they know about me? You don't know this person. But they feel like, too, if you ever were to know them, you would be able to read right through them and all that shit. I don't feel like you'll ever know nobody on this frequency. You will never know this person. Never. But they're trying to get to know you on a very personal level. To the sea, you're being guided away from something. It's time for you to go from somewhere. Just to get out of the way of whatever this is. Or you're being moved out of the way from some period. Or this person about to be moved out your fucking way. It's time for them to get the fuck out of your energy. I don't feel like you need to leave. I feel like they need to leave. I don't feel like you need to shut down your platform. I feel like they need to get the fuck off your platform. Free, mending, co-creating the reverse. They made it their mission now. This person has a mission to destroy you and everything that you're creating. Because guess what? You're speaking the truth. And they're afraid of the fucking truth coming out. Nine times out of 10, these people are out here getting orphaned and shit. Nine times out of 10, if you're on social media, their person is on social media too. And there's a chance that they could view you or this part, they both may watch you or something like that. Like, it seemed like somebody be, um, it seemed like somebody watches you that's a karmic and, but then this divine masculine or this feminine watches you as well. And they get messages from you. But it's because you guys are on the same frequency. And the only reason is Karmi is watching you. This bitch is not on your frequency at all. They're just trying to figure out information, like I said. Somebody be at work watching you, like when they're not at home. Like when they're at home with this person or something, they're not watching you. But when they get off to themselves, they watch you and they get messages from you. And then like whatever you're saying in your readings or something... Whatever it is that you may be saying in your readings or in your messages, this person, if something happens exactly like that the same day or the next day, or it could have just happened. And this karmic energy is like, well, how in the fuck do they know this? They shouldn't know this or, you know, something like that. These are general collective fucking messages. Like, motherfuckers don't know y'all. Thousands of people be watching these readings. That, like, what don't you understand about that bitch? Never any story in the reverse, bless reverse. Also, somebody is paying a tarot card reader to read certain energy um, and to, like, spin the narrative on certain shit. Imagine these bitches are making up shit. They're not, they're not really getting messages. They're piggybacking off of other readers. 
And this could be a tarot card reading ho that's watching you, Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine. This bitch is going too far. This person watches you, listens to your readings, and then they go and do a reading and basically repeat everything that you said, acting like they got their messages from my daddy and they did not. They got their messages from you and they know your messages are from my dad. You degree know, school, so that's what they're doing. So you have a few people here that want to stop you. Yang reverse. I mean, Yang is in the upright. Why did I Why did I say reverse? Treasure Island, chop wood in the reverse. Yeah, somebody don't want you to be as accurate as you are. And the accuracy that you have, this person is definitely, they're like, oh, okay, well, I can't stop this person. I can't take their gift from them. So let me just take them down. Let me ruin everything in their life. This is very petty. This is stupid. And it's not going to work anyway. But yeah, just it's the whole effort that this person is trying to put in to do this dumb shit. It's, not, it's just a waste of time. This is like the most irrelevant ass fucking reading ever. Somebody is trying to dictate what you're doing. They're trying to be in control of what you're doing. Control and expand the narrative of your messages. <clears throat> I feel like you're solely doing something out of love. Somebody fire alarm gonna go off like if you uh if you go to school somewhere you work or where you live maybe I'm getting like a do 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 like a fire alarm a fire alarm I'm seeing fireman by uh Lil Wayne I'm seeing a video that video fireman It's a shame. This something is hidden. Archangel Raphael is already taking care of something regarding this person too. Like I feel they trying to get too fucking personal. They like, well, since you know so much about me, I need to know something about you. But see, they don't automatically, they don't have no intuition. Like this person. They, they, they. The only way they can find out something about you is if they go and research and study something. Our angel Michael do not appreciate this shit. Whatever this is, our angel Michael has showed up in your reading. It's a fucking problem. I'm gonna just tell you that now. These people know they in hot water. Yeah, somebody's in a lot of trouble. Yeah, <clears throat> you still gonna get victory. <clears throat> Excuse me. It doesn't matter. Motherfuckers trying to tamper with your throat chakra and shit. They trying to tamper with everything you got going on because they don't want you revealing the truth. You're a messenger. <clears throat> this seems like a masculine child. I'm telling you. Seems like that group of fucking men that I be picking up on every so often. They're still on this fuck shit. Somebody also mad because you won't accept their offer or something. Man, fuck these people, honey. You're not worried about no relationship right now. I feel like you're just simply working and somebody is trying to invade your fucking space. They're not respecting your boundaries. The thinky man, somebody does not respect your fucking boundary. This person is all in love with you. You're not in love with them. You don't want to be with nobody right now. Door to romance, they cannot strategize a way to get in the door. And this too could be a friend of this person. Like this could be somebody that they're sending towards you. You just got some kind of feeling about this person like where I'm not fucking with you. I'm not gonna deal with y'all motherfucking ass. I don't gotta deal with you. You did a rule for real. Archangel Uriel is in the reverse. You're a high priestess, a high priest. What don't these people get about that? These are some incompetent imbeciles, is what the fuck I heard. These are people who just do not understand fucking English. There are illusions surrounding somebody. They, they, this person is trying to get personal. This person is sending people towards you to act like they're in love with you or some shit or they want to be with you and start something with you. They only want to get information about how you do something or how you know something, right? This is exactly why your spirit is irritated with whoever the fuck this is. This person keeps reaching out to you and they won't leave you the fuck alone. This person is reaching out to you. Whoever you are, this person sends you multiple messages. They being sent by someone else. Whoever this goddamn man is. Envy in the reverse. 
This person does not like the fact that you are anointed. You reveal some kind of major ass truth and it could have brought a power to something. Because like I said, whatever this truth is that you're revealing, there's literal physical proof to back this shit up. It's not like you're just, you know, talking shit. Woman holding a heart, yin and yang. You could have revealed something about a feminine energy. This this could be a feminine energy sending motherfuckers towards you. Could be feminine or masculine. I feel like it's a masculine though. Somebody, or somebody is just in masculine energy. Somebody is very adamant about bringing you to a halt. And they're trying to find out different ways to do it. They're getting too personal. This person is taking these messages personally that you're giving. Whatever the fuck they trying to do to get somebody to connect with you. They got our angel Gabriel right here. He's not letting nobody through. What the fuck? This person is not going to get through. I don't know what the hell or who the hell they think they is or what they doing. But it's not, it's not going to go like that. I'm hearing pop my shit by money bag yo so money bag yo could be significant to you this shit right here is just stupid as fuck like okay the hell what the hell are you sending people in this person's life for to get information about them this person doesn't know you you stupid motherfucker they do not know your raggedy ass look they're expecting this person to bring them back some kind of information that they're expecting. They're not getting any information. You're not stupid. Like, you're not stupid. And even if you were to deal with somebody, you're not You're not stupid. You're not going to sit up here revealing nothing about yourself like that to nobody. I feel like if somebody want to fuck with you, they'll observe you and they'll figure it the fuck out. You're not just going to be telling people shit about you. Especially when it comes to your connection with the most high fucking God. You're not going to do that. You're not gonna do that. The fuck is wrong with these people, bro? This superior ass complex they got. This person is paying people to come towards you. Maybe trying to leave you in despair regarding something or someone. Yeah, they're thinking about some more stupid shit. Hold on. truly needs to get a life and it's not energy honey somebody needs to get a fucking life it's like they're researching every goddamn thing about you bro. like everything like they need to know every aspect of your life like they don't care because it's something very personal that you had revealed it's very personal and they just like okay so how the hell do they know this the only people should that should know this is me and this person or me because I did this, so this person may feel convicted or something. I don't feel like you just, I mean, maybe, I don't know, maybe you do name names or something, I don't know. Maybe you do. Maybe you do name names. Hold on one more time, y'all. A whole lot of distraction so somebody may be trying to distract you as well
trying to use something as some kind of distraction. They want this person to distract you. They want this person to do their best to come in to bring some kind of change to you. Because if you deal with this person, everything in your life is going to end up changing suddenly. Courthouse, you're going to call judgment. This is what I'm saying. Like, it ain't even really no fucking need to deal with this person. You simply see right through it. Like, what the? You're a high priestess, a high priest. It's the nerve on these folks, bro. That's what I be talking about. The fucking nerve. Whoever this damn King of Pentacles is. This person right here definitely is their um something. So it could have already been a tower. A, a tower could have been brought already from whatever you said. But this is just you giving messages. I don't feel like you aimed nothing at nobody. I told you, look at the tower. I don't feel like you just aimed something directly at somebody, called out their first and last name and their birthday and their social. I feel like if you had a specific message for a specific person, you would call their ass the fuck out. But these are just collective messages. And somebody is like, how in the hell do they know this? What's this energy over here with this official person? The four of damn pentacles. They're holding on to this. And whatever this is regarding, it's this damn empress who is highly intuitive that they're trying to put ten swords in this person back and have them in a five of fucking cups and a nine of wands. Defensive, uh, guarded, you know. This person has sent several people your way. They paid them, sent several people your way to try to find out how you fucking know some shit, bro. I'm just trying to tell you, but you're too damn strong. Leo energy. My name, Leon. What's this four pinnacles energy here? They want to hold some information back from a, a, a woman or something. Like, I feel like this man was sleeping with another man. And you might have said something about that. And then this woman actually found out the truth. And now they're pissed off at you. They want to have you isolated, destitute, in a five of fucking pinnacles because they feel like you told on them. Bitch, I feel like you shouldn't be doing nothing behind somebody fucking back that you don't want them to know, bitch. How the hell is that this person's fault? What's the five of pentacles? Yeah, the two of cups reverse. They broke up with somebody. Go be with this damn man, honey. What the fuck is you talking about? Go be with this man you were cheating on your wife with. The hell is simple. What's the strength card? This person, this person right here may have been benefiting from this woman. <coughs> Excuse me. They don't have any victory. The six of wands is in the reverse. They're going to end up losing a lot here. They think they lost something, child. They ain't seen shit yet. The hierophant. This person was married to somebody. This was some kind of marriage. They stepped out on their marriage. They stepped out on their marriage. I don't feel like you was forcing this person to be a cheater. I don't feel like you told this person to do this. What's the hierophant? Taurus energy, Leo energy, okay? The Emperor, yeah. This man ain't no fucking Emperor. This is not Emperor energy that they're in. This person could just be in some kind of boss position, period. This person is not shit to me. To me, this person ain't shit. They're watching you. That's the Ace of Swords, true. Trying to put you on the Ten of Wands. This person's trying to heavily burden you. They want you distracted so you can't get messages out. And whatever they need to do to bring a stop to you, that's what they will try to do. They do not want you speaking the truth. Like I said, if they know this, what else do they know? <laughs> kind of energy. Like, oh, well, I don't need them talking anymore. I don't need them revealing anything else. And whoever you are, you speak the truth straight up. You gonna tell her like a T.I. is. You gonna tell it like it is, boo. You gonna tell it like it is. And maybe it's the way that you're delivering messages. Who knows? This person may be intimidated at the way you're delivering messages. This is a wolf in sheep's clothing. 
this threatening energy, this is what I'm saying. This person is very intimidated. They're bothered by something that you're saying or something that you said, period. And they like, what else do they know? That's all I'm hitting, um, hearing, hitting. So yeah, I must be hitting this shit right on the nail. That's all I'm hearing. What else do they know? What else do they know? They're creeping. This person even caught some kind of disease and they gave it to this person or something like that. And they mad or they, they they may not want you to reveal something about a disease or something, but I don't feel like you're a medical doctor. Like I said, this person is not shit to me. And this person could have taken a loss. Like why they sent up here paying people and shit. Why they sent up here paying motherfuckers to travel towards you. This motherfucker is fake flexing. So everything that they did have it was off of this damn woman or something. This person was having an affair with someone that they had no business dealing with at all. And they mad at you. You don't know this person. This person don't know you, but they're definitely trying to get to know you. This person is too much invested in your fucking business because you speak truth. Look, they're trying to retaliate on you. You don't even realize this is going on. You don't realize that the truth that you're speaking is changing people for the better and also for the worse. Because their truths, are, their truths are being revealed. They thought that they were going to get away with shit. Do y'all not know how many cases are solved and how much shit is resolved through tarot and through people speaking truth? They don't want to be one of those cases that get solved. They want to be a cold case. This person wants no attention brought to them or what the fuck they been doing. What's this threatening energy? They definitely trying to get this motherfucking man or a woman to come towards you. Projected future days, weeks, months. Something is coming up that this person is not going to see fucking coming. Yeah, they're triggered by you. They also don't want to sell this house or they don't want to move out of this house that they bought with this person. Or something. They don't want to leave. They, they want... Um, they want something to continue on with this person, but only for them to benefit. They only want to benefit from this person. Like, no, that's my piggy bank. Get some money from this man that you're sleeping with. That's what I'm saying. The fuck? Create a life with this damn man. This shit be pissing me off, bro. You know goddamn well you're not straight, bro. You know you're not. But see, the thing about it is, they've been hiding this shit from this woman. This woman already knows. So guess what? They feel like they need to bring you all the way down. This person feels like they need to ruin you because you revealed something. They can't stand your creativity because it shows they lack it. These are, these are you, you, whatever this is, you're using your gifts to create, period. You're using your gifts. That's just what it is. What's this trigger energy? Whatever it is, is that's exactly what the fuck it is. You're using your gifts, bro. And that ain't nobody fucking business for yours. If you don't want to use your gifts, that's on you. If you want to use your gifts, that's up to you. Dark entities are using these people to work against you. They can't operate on the frequency you're on. This person done got another karmic low down motherfucker. And this person that they're sending to you is low down too. Trying to act, these people trying to act straight or something, bro. And they're not. They coming towards you on bullshit. These are very sexual people. People that want to try to get you in the bed, sleep with you or something like that, honey. And they're very persistent with this word. They keep doing this shit over and over. And then to the, like I said, a tower is already here. So the tower could have hit this, this woman is gone. And now they just spending the rest of their days trying to ruin you. But instead you're getting new money. You're still getting opportunities here. This person is unreliable. This person cannot be counted on at all. Look is on your side. Whatever and whoever the fuck, I don't care. Something from the past that they were doing some low down shit to this woman and this woman left. Period. And they feel like it's because of you. It's your fault that, you know, they were sleeping with somebody that they had no right sleeping to fuck with. You're still getting a windfall of money. Whatever they're doing, 
they, they're trying to fuck with your money and everything. They want you to just stop doing what you're doing, but what you're doing is bringing you business. You dig a roof for real. They should not have ever been doing whatever they doing. And if they were going to do it, they should have divorced this person and been with who they truly wanted to be with. The shit you like doing, this extracurricular ass bullshit, having sex with all different types of people, bitch. This is an animal. Straight the fuck up. Envy. This person is a fucking hater. And they send in some other haters to you too people that dislike you they really don't like you but they're trying to get next to you only to see how you know something they only want to know how you know something bro that's it you're protected from these energies this is just very sad whoever you are you don't know these folks personally i feel like you're just doing a job you're doing what you're supposed to be doing and they up here trying to ruin your goddamn real life they're trying to ruin your life on some shit on social fucking media are you kidding me these people trying to find out your address and all kind of shit, your blood type, all kind of dumb shit. Trying to send people your way, trying to study you, see what you like, and then try to uh, put that shit into someone and send them to you. Man, get the fuck out of here. This is unsuccessful. Whatever this is, they don't have no success with it. Or they won't. Who else is here? You see right through these people. Yeah, they comfortable as hell living this fake ass lifestyle. This person is fake. And they don't want to look in their reflect. They don't want to look in the mirror and see the reflection of the truth. I was gonna say some real disrespectful shit. This person like man, I don't give a fuck. Okay, they're truly this. This person wants to be a woman or something, and they are refusing to believe that they get these desires and urges. Okay, you need to talk to God about that. Ask God to take that shit away from you. Instead of you indulging and trying to ruin somebody's life just to hide it, bitch. And if you're going to be that and do that, be honest with your fucking self. I don't judge anybody for what they do. But when you setting out to try to destroy somebody because you don't want what you're doing in the dark to come out, you're a fucked up ass person. This person may have kids and shit. They don't want their children to look at them a certain way or something like that. Um, you're the only person that feels guilty because what you're doing is wrong, bitch. You're the only fucking person that feels fucking guilty. Nobody is worried about you. There's millions and billions of motherfuckers out here doing what the fuck they want. They're not thinking of you, bitch. This motherfucker got the audacity to send somebody to your life that ain't even straight. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Trying to have this person all up in your motherfucking business and shit. Maybe even trying to get up in your house. They want them to get close to you, to get in your house, to see how you know something or do some kind of fucking spell work on you. This person's not getting in nothing that they asked for. They want your demise. It's not happening. They want you to be ruined because they feel like you ruined their life. And people talk so fucking much. Oh, yeah, this reader told me that this is the reader that told me that you did this and all that bullshit. And then they come to you like you're the fucking problem. Like, what the fuck? Like, who told her that? Who told her that? How would she know that? Who told him that? How would he know that kind of energy? Like, what the fuck, bitch? Don't nobody know y'all motherfuckers. Don't nobody know y'all people, bro. How the hell could you know thousands, hundreds of thousands of fucking people personally, bro? That's what I'm trying to say. Personally, man, get the fuck out of here. Don't Do they even make sense? How could you possibly know people individually and be reading a story off of somebody telling you something about them? Or, you know, whatever the case may be, you just have a lot of knowledge. Whoever you are, you're extremely blessed and you're delivering messages. I feel like you're doing what you're supposed to do. This could be a Scorpio here. I'm picking up a, a Capricorn Virgo or a Taurus. Work through your fears. So obviously that card wanted to come out. I mean, somebody may try to threaten you because that threatening card came out. Nothing will come of it though. Like nothing is going to come from whatever the hell this is these people are trying to do. Because these people need to face themselves. This has nothing to do with y'all. This got something to do with them and their fucking guilt. Their conscience. They don't have anything to do with you. Let me get y'all an angel message and I'm going to get up out of here. This shit right here is very fucking sad. Can I have a um, message for Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine? 
it's time for these people to stop. Look, let go. These people need to let go of this because it's not gonna work. They're only gonna get their shit. They mad as hell because this woman is gone. They're piggy bank. Spirit said there ain't no need to worry, honey. There is no need to worry. That's what Spirit said. You are heavily protected. Whoever you are, these people ain't protected. And these people don't use protection either. So not only are you a nasty ass motherfucker, you got the nerve to not be using protection and then go and sleep with your wife or your husband. You a dirty motherfucker. You dirty as hell. And this person was supposed to find out the truth about you. The fuck is you talking about? You infected with AIDS and shit and you think you were gonna give it to this person? What the fuck is you talking about? Whoever you are, you saved this woman or this man's life by awakening them to whoever the fuck this person is. This is a nasty ass bitch or a nasty ass fucking nigga. Nasty. And they nasty ass can do whatever they want. But you're not going to do nothing to jeopardize the health of this person. And you're just fucking mad. Because whatever you were benefiting from is no longer beneficial, bitch. You're not getting whatever the fuck you wanted from this person. You're codependent as fuck on this woman's wallet, bitch. Or you're codependent on this man's wallet. And somebody don't like the fact that you're speaking truth. Bitches is really trying to personally get to know you, researching you, paying for information about you as a child. They trying to literally find out everything that they can about you to try to destroy you because they feel like you destroyed them. You don't even know these people. I want to put a lot of emphasis on you don't even know these motherfucking people. You really don't, okay? I'm going to leave it right here to my feminine masculine. I seen 36, 36. Remember that God loves you and so do I. See you next time.